Alrighty. Um, so let's go into this. So the long awaited Panda Global controller is finally, finally here. Well, the Kickstarter is here. And if you guys have checked the Kickstarter right now, they already have 1,800 backers. They've more than 66. double smashed their goal uh, and climbing. I could see this hitting a million dollars pretty soon. So it's going to be one of the most successful Kickstarters in a very long time. And yeah, so it's just a, it's a huge dub for Panda. And the reason it's doing so well, the reason it's popping off so well is, well, let me show you. Oh, yeah. Louder. Thanks, Sahara. Louder. That controller is dope though, right? That shit crazy. Customizable. All parts pro grade. You can change the shells. You can change the, the, the height of the L and R. There's back triggers. It's 90 bucks. It's $90. The shells are magnetic. It's, it's way, way, way too good. As you can see, the controller has four shoulder buttons like modern controllers. The Z buttons were also remade for much smoother feel. We're also introducing two new buttons. Yeah. The removal back buttons were placed in a position that's natural. I did try, yeah. And they're mapped to X and Y. This isn't a wireless controller by default, but you can it's unplug the wire for easier storage. It comes with two different wires, one of the USB end and one of the GameCube end. It comes with both There's controllers. There's also a unique optional locking mechanism. I must say this. Look. The important thing, they're doing a breakdown here, right? Um, and, and let me, you know, right now we're watching a video and it's just kind of like, you know, going along. But uh, I try this controller. It, it feels really good. The buttons are smooth. It has the back triggers, which you can map to X and Y. Uh, it comes with two uh, wires that you can choose as a preference to the USB-C or a GameCube out. Um, and the craziest part is that the there's a stretch goal that has expansion packs. And the expansion packs are actually different uh, little cool features. Most importantly, it's weights. So if you want your controller to weigh a certain way to feel like yours, they're going to have that option for you too. And the biggest thing is too, when you uh, when you open the back right here, it comes with the only tool that you need. Comes with the Allen wrench. It's like a little thing. That's the only tool you need to make the entire thing work for you. And it's inside magnetically. So you never have to like, you don't need a tri-wing anymore. This tool is all you need to be Level five hype train, thank you. Controller. Speaking of taking the controller apart, you may notice there are no screw holes on this whole thing. Well, that's because the shells are magnetically attached. You'll be able to very easily and quickly customize the face of your controller. That's now, so sick. there are sick. a lot of advanced features on the inside of the controller that I'm not going to get into. But this here we call the button mask. If you remove it, you can customize the buttons very easily. The fact that you can remove both the front and back shell with such ease, it's a game changer. It all snaps together. Yep. Another cool feature about this controller is that it's future proof. We actually have firmware with a memory chip on okay. the controller, so we can update it whenever we want. So this right here is probably the most, I mean, I'm not saying it's unspoken because everyone's like talking about like, you know, whatever they like. This right here, you can, okay, um, they went like a full Monty with this. You can plug your controller into your computer for a program and there's calibration settings within the controller that allow you to guarantee a 1.0 cardinal every single time. There's no longer like an arms race on controllers. And on top of that, it has a snapback flux that as your controller gets older, you can change that so it's always consistent. On top of redesigning it, we modernized features to make it our own, including adding a tactile click, the panda stick box. And by the way, the left trigger has a tactile click. So now, 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 the, now we have that too. So if you use your uh, game controller on your PC for anything, it's got a bunch more buttons now that you couldn't use before. It would be compatible with all T3 motherboards as well as our own controller. We decided to bring back the expansion pack. And with that, our first expansion pack will be a weight pack, allowing you to change the weight of the controller to your desire. Down the line, we're planning on adding other expansion packs. Leffen gonna yeet that motherfucker into the wall at 90 miles per hour. I mean, we've all thrown controllers, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, that mess was funny as fuck. Um, but the good thing is, if anyone does throw the controller, you can snap things back on. If they, if a stretch goal, yeah, if, if this next stretch goal is like a, 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 a <laughs> yeah, what someone say? A throw-proof rager shell. <laughs> it just, instead of snap back, it bounces back. You can oh customize my God. the height of your trigger 
with 16 different settings using that Allen wrench. Dude, now, there's 16 once your settings. Changed, you'll need to calibrate your controller so that you can still hit every single analog value. To do that, we've added a calibration button right here. So, like I said, that calibration button, and you'll see what the program, because there's another video of it, it, it explains it a lot better. It will give you 1.0 cardinals both on your left analog stick and your C stick. The way that we're dampening snapback is by emulating a capacitor, which is what people typically do for a snapback mod. Right. Well, we skip to the features in the back. Now we I want to show you. Wire. All right, this here we go. The first, this bar here. A cover for the motor. You can easily pop out your rumble motor now without cutting the wire. This bracket holds it in. You can pop out rumble with no wire cutting. Inside our trigger mounting plates. You can easily it's access It's just fully customizable. Mechanism. Wait, what is this? 300,000, which is going to be hit. A new full GameCube controller pack voted in by backers will be available for purchase after closing a Kickstarter with exclusive discount includes a full colored set of GameCube shells, gates, buttons, and sticks. Damn! I'm letting you know this is probably going to go to a million. Like, this is... It, the, the virality of this project, I, I, I don't know if it shows, like, what on Kickstarter.com, like, what the top projects are. Actually, nuts how, how much I've done it. So, the reason... This is so sick. Uh, we were sh we were showing that breakdown video, and the core features, and all that. Panda stick box, the customizability, customization. All right, this these videos right here is what I want to show you. They're really quick and simple, quick and dirty, um, for you nerds out there that know about why this is important. Remember how I was telling you you can you can get like 1.0 cardinals. In other words, if you have no idea what the fuck a cardinal is, hold your controller right now. You just you just hold it in your hand, and hit and just hit hit, hit left. Go left all the way. The question from I have to you, is that true left? Is that the most left your controller can possibly go? Usually it's not. Usually it's just a little more it can go. And in Melee, when you have that full 1.0, it's the full speed of your character. You're literally losing like 5% of your character's max speed, which is fucking huge. So yeah, it usually goes to like 0.975 or whatever it is, and, and it's not like great. You can fix that. You can use the Allen wrench included. Press. Button. There's a whole button on there. Here. This is so cool. It has LEDs. The left stick of the LED is lit up. That tells us to move the stick like to the up position. And then we press the Z button once we're happy with the position. Boom, 1.0. So basically, whatever your left is or your right becomes your new 1.0. And that's freaking sick. 1.0. Well, do you know how difficult this used to be back back before? This controller existed. You know, you know, like the the amount of Frankensteining you have to do to create a 1.0 cardinal control. It's it's a whole it's a whole thing. But now, it's just everyone has it for 90 bucks. And everyone was like angry at Panda for not giving like like details. It, it was with patience comes good things. Look at this. There's a polling test, right? So polling again for those of you unfamiliar with it. How often your controller sends or receives a signal or whatever from your game? And it has to do with, like, you want it to be sometimes less than or more than 60 times a second to confirm it. And this one also does that. One millisecond. Under one millisecond. The closer we get it to 0.5 milliseconds is the closer we get it to 2 kilohertz. 2 kilohertz is is uh, 2,000 times per second? 2,000 times per second. I'm going to show it now. He is mashing that shit. And you can see right there, joypad update speed point point six three one milliseconds less than a millisecond per, per, per input as you can see there's a very low it's speed it's just faster than the Wii is going to pull in any game it's faster than the Wii is going to pull in any game so guaranteed all of your inputs you're, you won't miss a single input in melee in vanilla melee there is this polling error that like it's like one in every what is it maybe like one in every like 10 20 inputs won't be there by chance by chance, and this fixes that. All right, calibrating triggers, right? You get your Allen wrench, you make your L or R higher or lower. It's sick. I just wanted to show you guys why it was, and this this Kickstarter is right here. Look, I I'm not with Panda at all. I this is not a, this is not a hashtag ad or whatever. I simply had the chance to try this thing out uh, when it was still there early on. Uh, yes, the screwdriver is included, and now they're well on the way to hitting the 300 goal. Uh, we're just going to keep clicking the goal every single time. Just very, very great. 2,000 backers with 29 days to go. Yeah, it's going to hit a million. <laughs> there, there's no doubt in my mind. Do they mention when shipping starts? Um, probably next year. December 2022. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be a while from now. 
um, because they have to, for a project of this scale, you need factory, you need logistics, you need shipping, you need a lot of things, and it could work. <laughs>